Hey everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. This one is going to be an advanced line art tutorial. I've done a tutorial like this before and that one was just an introduction into line art and it's really good for beginners. So it's a good idea to check that out before you see this tutorial because in this one, I really want to push it further. I want to show you how to do some cross hatching and shading in some heavy black areas uh, with your inks and also just going into much further detail. All right, this is going to be fun. Let's dive straight into it. Okay, so before we start, I think it's really important that we practice some cross hatching uh, before I get into my predator piece. So I've got this penguin here, which I did a, a long time ago, and I think this would be a really good example to uh, practice on a human face, uh, doing a little bit of bit of cross hatching. So um, first thing we'll actually do is we're going to hide that. Let's just practice with our with our pen here. So you know, some of the best things you can do is just really practice on just strokes in general so it's all about the angle of your arm as well so if i tried to if i tried to draw like this way that's really awkward for me so you have to kind of go with the flow of your wrist you see how my wrist kind of flicks so that's a really good way to kind of get a nice smooth uh some nice smooth lines and you can see i'm also doing a taper too thick you can do it even like more dramatic than that so you can actually go thin to really thick so thin to really thick. And that's what we're going to start to do a lot more of. And you can see how it's like that. Uh, and another thing you want to kind of keep in mind is these darker areas are going to resemble the darkest part of something. So if I have a sphere and we want to start to shade around the edge, I'm going to go thin to thick, kind of like that, you see. And those thicker parts are going to be, you know, the darkest part of this sphere or edge and it'll go up like that. And you can even start to see how I'm also contouring these, these uh, cross hatching as well. I'm, I'm contouring the cross hatching. And you want to try and get that darkest part, you know, quite dark. You can even go full solid if you want to go real dramatic with it. So fully solid black around the rim and then start to really stretch it out even further uh, to resemble a gradient of, of shading that's going to gradually get to light and, and disappear to nothing. So the thinner you go, the more light, you know, it's, it's hitting the light more. So, and then up here, we'll just do a couple of little scratches, like spread them out a bit, add a bit of style to it. You see how those are really spread out just to add that extra detail. And then I can even just do the same on this side, just a little bit like that. And I think that works quite well for a cross hatching, like around the bottom of that. So yeah, good practice. So let's get onto the penguin and I'm going to make a new layer above him and just, let's just muck around with it and I'll see if I can actually, you know, we'll do a little bit of cross hatching on him. So anything, you know, I might actually size my brush down a little bit more. I want to go thin, so nice thin lines. And we're going to start detailing him out. So through these cheeks, I'm trying to think about the darkest areas first, like, you know, our cheekbones. So I'm going to go quite dark up here and then spread it out as it comes down. So up. And I think this penguin is probably a really good example because he's got all these wrinkles and creases that we can really play with. And we're going to go both ways and do classic cross hatching here. So I'm tucking up to where his... Um, where his hairline goes, I'm going to start to come down. You see how I'm really just playing with those different directions there. And I quite like how that's going to work. Um, especially if I go in these little creases, like around his mouth here as well. So we'll add some up through here. And I'm crossing over lines as well. You don't have to, you know, you can go any way you want. Just have a lot of fun with it. And it does take a bit of patience but it really is worth it in the end. Like. So that's it for this uh, short example of one of my tutorials. So if you'd like access to this full tutorial, which goes for about 50 minutes, just head over to patreon.com slash Patrick Brown. I go a lot more in depth in these full tutorials. Uh, there are plenty more available on my Patreon. I'm creating new tutorials every fortnight, ranging from the absolute basics, like sketching, and all the way through to line work and colouring and compositions and, and a lot more. 
you'll have access to an entire library of tutorials, 65 plus videos, and they keep coming every fortnight. All right, thanks everyone. See you later.